We've all seen these blurry videos of unidentified flying objects. Video evidence, if you will, that old tales of UFOs may not all be conspiracy theories. In recent years, Congress starting an official U.S. government Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force, recently renamed the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, or ARO. And now in a News Nation exclusive, David Grush, an Air Force veteran, former member of that task force, and veteran of the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, is formally blowing the whistle on secrets he says no one has ever shared publicly before. You are one of the most trusted former intelligence officials in the U.S. defense and intelligence establishment. Yes, I was. You were trusted with the most intimate secrets. Yes. Grush sitting down with award-winning investigative journalist Ross Coldhart, who's reporting for News Nation and has spent years reporting on the UFO question. What conclusion did you come to at the end of your time on the UAP task force? Uh, the UAP task force was refused access to um, a broad crash retrieval program. When you say crash retrieval, what do you mean? Uh, these are retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles, you know, call it spacecraft if you will, non-human, exotic origin vehicles that have either landed or crashed. We have spacecraft from another species. We do, yeah. How many? Quite a number. You're kidding. No. I thought it was totally nuts, and I thought at first I was being deceived, it was a ruse. People started confiding in me, they approached me. I have plenty of current and former senior intelligence officers that came to me, many of which I knew almost my whole career, that confided in me they were a part of a program, they named the program, I've never heard of it, and they, they told me, based on their oral testimony, um, and they provided me documents and other, other proof, that there was, in fact, a program that the UAP task force was uh, not read into. Grush alleges the U.S. government has recovered non-human craft for decades. He's filed a whistleblower complaint saying he gave what he calls the classified proof to Congress and the intelligence community inspector general. News Nation has confirmed David Grush's credentials and resume. We've not seen or verified the alleged proof he says he's provided to investigators. He says he can't show us the proof for national security reasons. He also tells us he's not seen photos of the alleged craft himself, but has talked extensively with other intelligence officials who have. If you're right, if you're telling us the truth, mm -hmm. everyone, the entire American public, has been lied to for decades. Yeah, there's a sophisticated uh, disinformation campaign targeting the U.S. populace, which is extremely unethical and immoral. You are saying to the human race, for the first time, an official intelligence representative at a high level from the U.S. government is saying publicly, we are not alone. We're definitely not alone. Absolutely, the data points empirically that we're not alone, yeah. Do we have bodies? Do we have species of Well, naturally, um, when you recover something that's either landed or crashed, um, sometimes you encounter um, dead pilots. And uh, believe it or not, as, fan as fantastical as that sounds, it's true.